Mmm, Michael, set that table. This food is ready to eat. Mama, let it cook longer, please. You know what the health workers said. We must cook all food very well to ensure there's no contamination by Ebola. Ha! Ebola. There is no Ebola in my house. There is no Ebola in this neighborhood. What are you worrying for? Ebola does not affect us. Mama, have you not been reading the news? Ebola affects all of us. This is a serious virus. There is no vaccine to protect us from it, and there's no cure for it if you become sick. Well, there is nothing I can do to save us then. Now, wash your hands and let us eat. Mama, why did you teach me to wash my hands even when they look clean? Viruses are too small to see. Washing your hands with soap and clean water prevents diseases from spreading. Exactly, including Ebola. Better safe than sorry. Madam, I am pleased to say that as usual, you are fit and healthy. Ha! My son is worrying about this Ebola. I had never even heard of it until a few weeks ago. Can a disease like this really just appear overnight? Madam, Ebola isn't a new disease. It was identified in Africa in the 1970s. It's been living in fruit bats for many years, spreading to other forest animals like monkeys. What about people who hunt and eat bushmeat? Are they at risk of catching Ebola? Yes, they are at risk. Alive or dead, these animals are dangerous, as they could infect you. Well then, when I go to visit my sister in her village, I will not be eating any bushmeat. Better safe than sorry. Sister, it is good to see you, but you have come at a bad time. There is a man in the next village who is sick, and the doctors say it is Ebola. Oh, sister, how can they be sure it is Ebola? He is showing all of the symptoms. At first, he had a headache, a fever, and muscle pain. Now he has diarrhea, he is vomiting, and he has a rush on his skin. Since when did my sister become a doctor? Since I listened to what the health workers told us, traditional medicine will not help us, and we need to know the warning signs. If someone becomes sick, we must get help from the health authority. Better safe than sorry. Aren't you afraid of the Ebola carrying on the wind? You are so close to the next village. No, Ebola is spread through physical contact. It is carried in all bodily fluids like blood, semen and sweat. It is hard, but we must avoid touching anyone who becomes sick or who dies even our loved ones, and let the health workers take care of them instead. And remember to wash, wash our, our hands, hands with soap and clean water. I realize now that whether we live in the villages or in the city, this Ebola is everyone's problem. I understand what we can do to reduce the spread of Ebola. We must cook all food well, we must avoid touching anyone who is sick, and we must regularly wash our hands. I must share my knowledge with other people as well. When tackling Ebola, it is always better to be safe than sorry. <laughs>